Hi, babies. Uh, welcome. I won't touch the table. Yeah. <laughs> to another episode of the People's Mic. I am Jimmy Peoples. Take that off. Introduce yourself. Yeah. I'm John Hanford, and I'll also take off my hat. Yeah, John. How are you? All right, man. It's been, yeah. it's been, it's been a fucking trip. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get into it. What happened? <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I went out to the, to the desert, uh-huh. uh, the Sonoran Desert. Went to Phoenix, L.A. Uh-huh. Uh, last week. Okay. And while I was driving out there, I realized that that's where I need to be living. So I'm gonna In the fucking, desert. So yeah, I'm going to fucking move there. I, I, like, I'm moving to like, the Joshua Tree area. What? Yeah. That's crazy. It, it, that's it's batshit. It's batshit crazy. Completely. Wait, all right. So, so you said fuck comedy. No, no, no. I, th- yeah. There's actually kind of like <laughs> on, on that note, like to be be closer to the L.A. scene uh-huh. and basically the entire Southwest uh, okay. comedy scene. Okay. Um, I just liked it a lot like, more. You liked it better than, than New York. Yeah, yeah. New, what, New York what, is... What's the difference? So New York I've known my entire life. Mm-hmm. and You're from New York. Yeah, like okay. or, originally okay. I'm, fr- I'm from a few blocks from here okay. in, in the village. Yeah. And okay. um, yeah, like I, uh, I, I just, need, I just need to change. This past weekend, or uh, I, I I was there. I I just got back uh, the, the weekend before. Like like I just okay. got back last Thursday. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, I, for, I forgot what day it tell, is. Tell 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 them about the Joshua Tree. Yeah. Uh, is so that, is that a cult? No. Well, so well, so <laughs> Joshua Tree is is it's a it's a region because of the Joshua Tree National Park there. Okay. Um, it's a park. Yeah, oh, it's a national right, park, and it's it. it's amazing. It's right. it's a cool place to check out. But uh, <laughs> but there's a whole like artist community uh, just in that area in in the Yucca Valley. Okay, uh, a lot in of Yucca punk Valley. rock people go there. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm like a punk rock comedian. I have no okay, idea. maybe a punk rock. It, it could be a thing. Yeah, it could be a thing as long as you 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 find somewhere where you where you love where you where you comfortable. You know, that's the point. If it's calling you, go, man. Yeah. yeah, if you if you got a got a way to get out there, and you're gonna be get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, but, but, for, but for real, like I can rent a three bedroom apartment or three bedroom house there for yeah. eight hundred dollars a month. Really? Yeah, really? I'm I'm not gonna do that because I don't have the, that kind of fuck you money. But yeah. like, I'll I think I'll That's go with goal, with a one man. bedroom for six hundred. Yeah, stay low, save some yeah. money, and exactly. then move, move up gradually. You know, put yeah. it in, put it into comedy. You know, get you you got a website. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I, I, I got Instagram and, and get your yeah. website, yeah. get your business in order. Yeah, I, I, I like I like when you come in with a mission. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm getting on this goddamn I podcast. So I can get on this mic early. That's part of it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. how's it going, John? Willie. Willie. Nice to meet you. Nice Willie. you. Guys, yeah, Willie. Like, he looks like we zip. What? If you zip this up. Oh, you have the color scheme. Yeah, same guy. Same. Yeah, this is you. You're, you're 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 after or you're before? Yeah, I, 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 was gonna, I was gonna make that joke, and I wasn't sure like which one it would be. Like, yeah, when you look older than me, so either you gain weight or I get some disease. I mean, yeah. I, there's a lot. Of yeah, or or, or, or you start working out with Jimmy, and then yeah. it, yeah. gotta, gotta do it. Then, <laughs> then, 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 then again, then again, if this is the selling point of just like look like John. Probably wouldn't be able to make too much money. No, you know? it, it, I would take. It's I just, not a, the best marketing move. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be able to like get through tighter spaces, <laughs> slip through. I want to be stealthy. You yeah, know? that's my main goal. <laughs> I'm like caught on shit. So I don't want to. I, mean, I don't want to have to take off my backpack to move through a grocery store anymore. That's what I think it's for. Well, I mean, even when you're setting up this mic, like I was sneaking behind you, and it was freaking you the fuck out. What? He wouldn't have been able to do that. No, 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 he you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just disappeared over like, You know how to take a picture at the beginning? Yeah. Like he when he he walked off, but he stopped talking too. Oh, so yeah. then when I looked up, I was like, there was nobody behind me, and I was like, I thought I was going crazy. Yeah. I was like. What the fuck? I, I also take silent so, footsteps. Yeah, so yeah, he's, he's, like a he's a stealthy guy. So what happens <laughs> when you're light, <laughs> when your feet? Oh, we didn't even turn the music yeah, off. Good doors. job. No, keep the doors open. Okay. I, like, I, like. I like the doors open because I like seeing people as they come in. Yes, and then yeah. they, they can't dodge the podcast. Yeah. So they got they have to be like, oh, guess we got to go in because yeah, saw us. Saw us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then they all come in and sit down towards like the end. 
How you doing? What's going on? Man, I got a new shirt. <laughs> new shirt. I was going to say, yeah. I didn't want to mention the new shirt. I, I just, uh, I've been wearing like the same <laughs> two shirts on your podcast every, every time. Day. You, you know, I, I've, I've never bought a shirt or, or owned a shirt like that where yeah, it's like shirt. the three quarter, you know, that's button up. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's my, so nice. Either long sleeve, short sleeve. Yeah. I'm, I'm a sleeve up guy usually, mm. but that's. I I can't not go into into one of the the, the depo- this is a section. I, every guy has yeah. a section, and the uh, either the thermal shirt mm. and the half button down shirt. That's mm-hmm. my that's it calls me every time. Yeah, in three colors: black, red, and and gray. That's it. Yeah, that's it. My, my dark red, dark blue. Dark yeah, red. I'm so generic. Dark. So yeah. fucking corny. <laughs> good, and, and I try. I was like, yeah, yeah, today I'm gonna get a pink. Sh- I can't do it. I can't. It hurts. It hurts to yeah. veer off. Yeah. I, I'm so corny. I, I try to get like a like a like a plaid shirt sometimes, oh, yeah. and I'm like, this is. I, I feel like you'd have a tough time pulling off plaid. Yeah, yeah. no. I'm, is it plaid or is it we, the checkered shirt? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check, check, not no, not plaid. all checkered is plaid. Not all checkered is plaid, yeah. but a lot of it is. And I, I don't think is it plaid. Plaid is like plaid? plaid is when it's all checkered, but there are like crosses of color that cut like through. the hunters. Shirt? Like uh, yeah, like that's yeah, plaid. yeah, but thin. Is that still plaid? Yeah, yeah. yeah material is plaid, and then, then like, but like hunters usually wear like flannel. Just a basic gap Flannel's shirt. material. Yeah, yeah. Plaid is pattern. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So you can get a plaid flannel. Yeah, that's too yeah. much. Way too much. <laughs> flannel and plaid. Yeah, oh, oh, I'm an overload. I'm like, hey, <laughs> system. <laughs> there was a no. Eddie Bauer is having a sale like on Black Friday, and I was like going online. And uh, there was so much stuff that was red flannel with the plaid, and I'm just like, I can't pull that off. No. Like, you look like you look like every no. other hunter. You know what I mean? Like one yeah, yeah. one person per, per friend group can have yeah. the red flannel plaid. Yeah, but I, and I already yeah. got it. So that, dips. The, the leader, yeah. the leader of the group, yeah, the alpha head hunter. I like Eddie Bauer. Yeah. His, his his the cheap bastard in me. I'm sorry, but uh, I have a list of of, uh, of uh, businesses. That allow you that have no question to ask policy. I only for shop, returns. Yeah, for returns. Okay. I only shop in places with no question to ask policy. Oh, you must have that Costco membership then. Uh, Costco's? Is, no, I don't have. I used to when I was in uh, like Delaware and Philly. All right. There's no reason for it. Um, who has no question to ask? Um, um, Kohl's, Macy's, Otterbox, Eddie Bauer. I don't. I've never Otterbox. They're the phone cases. But uh, who? How, how often do you get a case? I need to look how fucked up this is. Look, it's sharp. It hurts. Ah. Oh yeah, you broke it. It's very broken. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I got I got a Mophie and I broke. I shattered it already. You need I, you need to get a special shock absorber so that every time we fucking smash the table, we don't get these red zones. No, that's that's a part of it. Soon I'll get <laughs> I'll level up. All right, I want to get yeah. uh, I want to get Bluetooth headphones for everybody and then Bluetooth oh, microphones. Good. That's the next step. Oh yeah, right. damn. You know if you just um, that, that's an upgrade. You like that upgrade? I, I, I love that upgrade <laughs> because I. I'm but, not, when are you going to upgrade the table? Because we got this. No, the table thing. stays. The table new. It was very new. It's I always make the mistake of grabbing the wrong table. Yeah. That's why I just got to grab the right <laughs> yeah. table. But uh, okay. yeah, that's the new up. That'll be the upgrade for next year. The, is the all Bluetooth? Nice. So, but because I can't do cables. And I don't want to get microphones and everybody's just moving around. I mean, but that would be the next professional step. What? To actually have a microphone. Like, you literally use one, I, I these know, microphones. I know, I know. But, you know, just get it started and yeah. go. It'll Absolutely. upgrade. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll get better. Never. Don't expect perfection of yourself. No. Yeah. No, no. Little little steps. For I'll real. take little steps and, and I know good. the direction I want to go. Yeah. Um, uh, what's, what's, what, are, what are you struggling with? Uh, I'm struggling with the logistics of, of moving. Uh, damn. Because, like, you know, I'm I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, going to Cal. Go, 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 going to California. California. Um, but also, I've already booked a, a flight to Seattle, where where my family is for Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm flying out of here. You know, December seventeenth, mm-hmm. and I didn't book a return flight because I was thinking, okay. burn the boats. You're yeah, coming back. Exactly. No. It, although <laughs> I didn't intentionally do it that way yeah. when I, when I booked it, I, I only booked it because I figured I might be able to get a. Better deal coming back if I booked at a later date. Uh-huh. I don't know, but I, uh, but being the, the circumstances being what they are, um, I've I've been thinking about buying a car while I'm out there yeah. and shipping all my stuff that I have here that I want to keep mm-hmm. out to Seattle, and then I just move from Seattle down to yeah. uh, the yeah. Valley. Yeah. So my roommates, I haven't told them yet, <laughs> and and I've only got like two weeks until I'm. 
hypothetically out of here. Yeah. And uh, what are you waiting for? Yeah, what are you doing here? Go fucking trying to make enemies. <laughs> no, no, no. But 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 like like we got to find a replacement, or else yeah. like you know how much is your rent? Uh, it's pretty affordable. It's, it's nine fifty a month in Bushwick. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, okay. my, my roommates are, each, are halfway decent. Each, yeah, nine fifty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's like or no, you know it's nine sixty, <laughs> but roughly a thousand with here. utilities and everything. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a cool place. It's um, you know I, I like it. There's a rooftop. Um, nice. Got a view of the city. Nice. Good bars and, and every, so everything in the area. Yeah. So if you need an apartment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you Reach know, out. Bushwick, Ridgewood area. Of, uh, <laughs> That's cool. Um, um, it's really close to the L train. It's a great location. The L train is about to shut down for yeah. two years. Yo, I might have someone. They wouldn't be ready until the new year to move in. But I mean, that would be fine. Like, let's talk about that. The yeah. 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 <laughs> I got my friend, a good friend of mine is living in London right now. And he's moving. He's going home. Oh. Similar deal. He's going to... Oregon to uh, see his family, but then he's done in London, and then he's either moved to LA or New York. So all all this like California desert, Portland, Seattle shit that we're talking about, yeah. Jimmy, you probably can't relate at all. At this all. is really I'm fucking white. Shit. white <laughs> I was gonna say that. I was, I was like, how white are you? I thought you were. Like, Man, you're so white. He's like, I went out to the desert and I wanted to stay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Said no. What? No, he said the only only time black guy said that was when he found a white girl who just who who, who gave him morning head and he, he and it was so good that he's just with her forever now. That's the only time a black man is ever in a desert now. Nah. I, I I think you just summed up white privilege. Like That's we just call that getting head. You yeah. call it morning head. Like it's, oh, it's morning head. Oh, morning head. It's a specific. Kind of hit. Like, yeah. Like, like before you wake up and she can just stealthily get under your covers and then hit you off before you wake up and wake you up that pleasantly takes a, takes, takes a, 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 a particular kind of talent. Would you ever give a woman morning head? I have. Oh. I have. I, I, after I've done it mm. before. Did I do it before? It's done? I don't know. I just, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm pretty sure. But I, I think I did it more after it was done. Right, because at that point you're indebted. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. Now it's like, yeah, you, that's, you just got to cash those in once in a while. But I don't yeah. think women, because if, if you do it to women, it, it, it doesn't have, it shouldn't be morning for them because they usually have to go to the bathroom. And we're, we're like, if we got to go, we don't give a shit. We'll lay there and fuck. But if they got to go, they'll be like, hey, hold on a second. I got to go to the bathroom first. So they'll it'll, they'll mess it up. Also, not yeah. get a UTI, especially. It's Shut the fuck up. No, for real, it's no a real thing yeah, for women. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. to be. I mean, guys should do it too, but it's a big thing for women to have to be right after that sex. I mean, listen, Will and I will just be here, you know, saving a medical expense for not having to go to the ER for a say, come get this UTI, man. Just hurry up. Every time. But no, you got to catch them when they're napping, not when when it's morning. So so it's more like napping head, I guess. That's the name of this podcast. I had a conversation with an old girlfriend of mine where it was like, I was saying, like, hey, like, if you ever wanted to give me that before I woke oh, up, that'd no. be fun. And she's like, I'm not comfortable doing that because, like, what's the consent situation there? I'm like, I'm giving the oh, consent right now. Yeah. No, it's an interesting conversation, like, from a legal perspective. Yeah, it, it, it's better to have this conversation before oh, anything happens. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's how much of a creep I am. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, don't fall asleep on the train near oh, Jimmy. Here's the thing. Oh, you're not necessarily really a creep. Yeah. You're only legally potentially a creep. No. Which might be worse. I feel like, I think once even <laughs> – once legally comes in the you, conversation, you've you already should, been a creep you should, you for like do, five or six. You should you shouldn't do it to somebody you haven't slept with yet. Like like yeah. like if if you have a relationship and you know she knows you, you know her. Yeah. Then I mean I think it's fair game. Yeah, because you know you're not malicious or anything. I I, I feel like I, I, and we need to have a woman on here. To 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 yeah. tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, I'm, You're probably wrong. I'm mostly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but she did it to me, and it was like, I don't know. I don't think any guy would be like, unless it's just bad head, and she's biting your dick off, and then you're like. Fuck! I didn't agree to this, and then that could turn into a different conversation. Yeah, but if you got like post traumatic stress or something, you're like, ah! like you know, you're having like fucking flashbacks see, and shit. It, guys, even if it was bad head. We'd still let her keep going. Not you necessarily. Know? No, no. I, 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 I've, no. I've stopped multiple women. Really? Yeah. Have you told them, or you just said let's move? 
Uh, it's, like, it's been, it depends on the woman, but usually I've, I've been a, the liar because I'm a coward. Yeah. And, yeah. And I'm like, let's do something else. It, I, I'm such a I'll fucking tell, I'll also, I also think it's a pretty, I don't know. It's like the herpes risk of, of unprotected oral sex. It's just like, I understand for a lot of people that the actually getting ahead outweighs the risk, which is one of those things. Like I'm not, I don't want to exchange oral in like a, in a casual encounter. Most of the time. You sound like such a geek. I am such a geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Please geek, baby. I'm tested. I got a fucking clean bill of health. I mean, here's the thing. I also get tested once a year, and I I feel like that's enough. Not enough. enough. Three or four times a year. See, now, now, now I'm, I'm sort of on, on Jimmy's side here. Once a week? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on your insurance. That's what yeah. most of you all have sex. Once a week? Oh, yeah. I, I, you should not I, be getting tested no. more than you're fucking in a week. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get tested. I got to make sure. Sh- you never know. <laughs> you don't even know a woman. Shut up. It's like a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the most affection I get is get in touch by a yeah. female doctor. It's like you have it written in no. your schedule. Going to yoga class at 9, Pilates at 11, getting tested at Planned Parenthood at 12.30. <laughs> 12 30. That's that's right. Right. City MD, that's my guess. City is great. Some hot doctors in Simity. 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 I think Simity they're MD. doctors. They, you ever think like, oh, the healthcare practitioner will be here soon and they are wearing a white coat but they never say that they're a doctor. I, I, I try to premise about that, about uh, the levels of doctor mm. and where, where do City MD doctors land? Yeah. Like, do you say that you're a city MD doctor, and do people take you seriously? Do people say, "Oh yeah, dude, Jack is a he's a city MD doctor"? I, I wonder if doctors right? get he's a he's a oh. You, you, you think do you think doctors ever get pissed off at people that just wear white lab coats as a fashion statement? Do people do that? <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, like I've I've seen it. Just you go to some weird party in Brooklyn. Somebody's wearing a lab coat. It's just city city <laughs> city MD doctors look like the doctor you go to if you're like into like in into like like drug dealing or doing like, like, like under under underworld shit. It's like a mob doctor. You need, yeah, like a mob yeah, doctor. Yeah, try this. Like, like, well, like, go grab like, yeah. the city MD and talk to talk to Sammy. <laughs> you know, here, here's the thing. Look, I, don't, I, don't, I, I think like the sketchiest doctors. Like <laughs> no, no, the the sketchiest doctor I've ever had works for Wild Cornell. Um, what is yeah, that? yeah, no. Like well, Cornell, they, they've got like a bunch of you know different offices yeah. around the city and shit. Um, it, it's, it's through the Cornell University School of Medicine. Mm-hmm. Before we go any further, yeah. consider the legal implications and um, uh, don't name names. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, depending on what the doctor did. Do, do, do name names or don't? No, no I'd say don't. I, 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 Tell I, the story I, first. And yeah, then. I wasn't yeah. going to. The guy, okay, the guy's got a really generic let's, name anyway. Let's but, get some trouble. So <laughs> this might yeah. need, this podcast so, needs some heat. So <laughs> I, I, I was at, I was at this doctor's <laughs> office. Say it. So like like I used to take Adderall and that's how I lost weight. Yeah, you but do. um, that's how you I, lose no, weight. No, you yes, take no, Adderall. Yeah. No, he's taking it. Down. I've got a punch <laughs> left over. <laughs> the means, but uh, oh, yeah, but I don't know what's happening right now. This is in, in order to get the prescription, I had to go to a, a like a doctor, yeah. and this office's policy was that I had to come back for a doctor's visit every time I needed a prescription, mm. so every thirty days. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so in addition to paying you know one hundred eighty bucks for the prescription. Shitty insurance. Also had to pay, you know, the copay for the for the doctor's visit. So I was spending like three hundred fifty, four hundred dollars a month on just to get my Adderall fixed, Good. including uh, the cost of the actual meds. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in addition to that, this office had a policy that when they were prescribing a controlled substance, uh, they like you were subject to a random drug test. So. It, it, it was weird, like, <laughs> but you're doing drugs, so. <laughs> right, right. right. Well, just, just, just to make, so just to make sure, yeah, just to make sure I wasn't doing it to like, uh, you know, like they were making sure I wasn't on like hard shit like cocaine or anything. And um, but the guy was just like, yeah, you can smoke weed all you want. And I was like, all right, well, we're fine then. But then he asked me like, are you sexually active? And I was just like, yeah, from time to time. And <laughs> from time to time. And, 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 My and, good and sir. Also, I, I should probably oh. bring up, bring up the, the racial element to this because I was definitely their only white client. This, yeah. this was a this was a um, a doctor's place <laughs> in like Cobble Hill, um, in, in, or no, not Cobble, Clinton Hill. Um, you know, a, 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 a pretty black, black area. Black doctor. It was a black doctor, black doctor, black doctor's office. Everybody was black, which is fine. Yeah. But it's totally fine. Totally fine. Th- then the guy asked me if I'm sexually active. I say, yeah. And he goes, you use condoms? And I was just like, usually. Oh, man. And then he goes, man, condoms are weird. What? The doctor. The doctor. <laughs> this guy has a 
<laughs> this is Wild Cornell <laughs> licensed doctor. Yeah. That's, that's about right. That's it, a premise. That's about right. <laughs> it, it, it's a premise that, that like feels like low hanging fruit because like it's not yeah. creative at all. No. But the fact that this actually happened yeah. is fucking bananas. Yeah. yeah. That's a bit. That's a bit. Give me that. Ask the microphone. Can I get microphone? <laughs> <laughs> With the whole mic? Just yeah. Just... It's like condoms are weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in fact, I did I did that like had a mic like uh, uh, like you know back in 2015. I was just like, yeah. So I went to the doctor today. Real story. Told me condoms feel weird. What now? I didn't have a joke for it. It was just uh-huh. here's the thing that happened. This is true. Yeah. And all I had was the premise because yeah. it's hard to turn that into anything. Turn into yeah. a joke. It's a bit. Hard work. That's, hard, yeah. Hard, kind of weird. That's not the name of this podcast, but uh, uh, um, um, I don't know. First time I ever got a blowjob was through a condom. That was weird. That's, wow, did you have to pay for that? Goofy. No, no, that's the weird thing. It was a relationship. First, first, first time wow. I, I got yeah. chlamydia was from a stripper who took the condom off because I wasn't coming. And then uh, I was like, "Yeah, go ahead." You know, and, and I wasn't thinking. I wasn't. I was. I was like, "Yeah, nothing could happen. Nobody's ever got a disease from a blowjob." <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know any better. I didn't know. <laughs> and and I, I was like, maybe twenty two, twenty three, maybe. And that was before AIDS came out. So. Yeah, I mean, no, before. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Be the first person to get knocked out on the podcast. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I, yeah. She, and, and she, she had was, oral chlamydia. Does that mean? Yeah, I didn't know you could have that. I didn't either. Oh, Jesus Christ! I mean, I, I didn't either. That's like the most treatable STI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I got a little. You know, I had to go. Pills, uh, yeah. I deserved it. I definitely yeah, deserved I it because uh, some other stuff happened, and, and I got. You know. You it, deserve chlamydia. Petrol. I do. I I know what kind of person I am. But you know, you get what you get. I'm not. Fucking apologize. We don't apologize, Graham. What do you say when you spread STDs? What? Like the women? Hey, you get what you, you get. You get what you look. <laughs> listen. Listen, listen. Jim, Jimmy's super clean now. What, what, was it somebody that you worked with who invented the term buyer's remorse? Buyer's? What? No. no. I don't Jimmy, like it. I feel like someone's going to be like, Jimmy, you gave me the STI. You'll be like, nobody she cares. Nobody <laughs> 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 For now, what? <laughs> oh, here, let me call somebody. Have everybody yell this shit. That's golden. <laughs> no, I, I, um, and I got, I got, uh, I got the antibiotics and stuff. But then I saw her in the mall, like, like two, three weeks later, just walking with her friends, and she gave me the eyes. Like, fuck, I fucked up. You ever see somebody that gave you some shit, and then you see him, oh, man. Man, I want to murder her. Mur- you think she knew she had it? After after she saw me, I, I knew she 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 damn yeah she knew she 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 had to know. Is this she was a stripper? Yeah, she's a stripper. Maybe it was just that she she saw a client outside of work. Maybe that's it. Could have been anything. But she I, I, with friends no, and family or no, something. No, no, it was definitely yeah. work. Was, if she, if she, was she encounter in the context of her being a stripper, or were you just hooking up with her outside? Of work? No, it was it was. It was I feel like I'm being interrogated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be used to get. Uh, no, it, it was. We used to we used to get paid in blowjobs when we used to promote this this particular club, the strip club, which is weird. That's, that's yeah. fucking that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, is the is the company paying? It's not a company. It's just a fucking. It's it's a Business. hood strip club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but here's the question: yeah. Are the are the strippers being paid extra to blow you? No. So no. Why are they? they, they why just, are they, they agreeing just told to me, hey, get them off? They get more money later. Yeah, because we're promoting the club. And more like, people. Oh, I we're understand. We're the promoters of, from the big radio station. The was there like a big boss? Was there a boss that was yeah, calling the yeah, shot? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I was like, that was the. Is that the quote? Yeah. To, to it was like a Grand Theft Auto strip club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's like a boss in the back who runs <laughs> missions and shit, yeah, yeah. and then the dancers are just you know they just dance. It was so. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. There was a guy, there was a shotgun on the wall. I was going to ask about the shotgun. Yeah, there's always yeah. a gun. There's Which I've seen Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah. it's a hot <laughs> spot. But everybody's cool. They, they loved us. They were like, yeah, you where, guys. Where was the strip club? From the radio station in Philly. In I'm Philly? Okay. Sure. I don't even think it's there anymore. It is. Yeah. One, the one of the cool, yeah, don't Google Maps anything. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, Street View. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing that happened. Yeah, I'll try again. Years ago, from his twenty years to his face is blurry. But you can really <laughs> yeah. Um. What What else is going on? What do you? I don't know where to go from here. Fucking man. Damn. Um. I, I heard, heard recently there is a uh, th- there's an there's a sex dungeon located under an Associated Foods in Park Slope. Okay. Um. On Fifth yeah. Avenue, apparently, or l- allegedly. Man, this um, is the snitchiest podcast I've yeah, ever yeah. done. Like, well, we, we I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the snitch here. I, I, don't, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> but I I, associated I, on 28th and Lex. Yeah. And Sam Cohen. Right? Sam Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I, I hope that it is run by one of the grocers at this associated food because that's, you know, si- that's a good side hustle. That's a good side hustle. Or... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be damned even, if, I don't even know what it's in front. Of. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'll be damned if Zabar's is in front for anything because that's the you're well, you're not going to get easy. Well, easy. Let him talk. Oh, Zabar's is a fantastic place. Like, like there you go. Yeah, if, 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 <laughs> if, if you want some babka or like some good smoked meat, go to Zabar's. That that place is is lit. <laughs> Woo! I thought, Keep going. Said, like, you ever catch somebody talking shit about you and they didn't know it was you? Yes. Isn't that so good? It's when they're just so honest, like like you ever in the bathroom taking a shit and two people come in and you're like, yeah, that motherfucker. You ever you ever have that happen? No. No. Huh? Yeah, you're right. I just assume yeah. that everybody's talking shit about me because I'm a narcissist yeah. and I suck, but like <laughs> it's just so good, so good. Like just, I, I like seeing people at their at their just genuine. Be genuine yeah. pieces of shit. Like you know, yeah. just, just, no. be, be a genuine piece of shit, but be good where you can. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like I don't It's like, like only incidentally fuck people over. Don't do it as like your main prerogative. Like No. I don't know. Really? No, I really yeah, really. I, I don't believe that. It feels so good though. No, From no, time to time. If they deserve it, then no. yeah, but that's a different no, story. I don't, I don't, no, I don't like doing that. I, I like I like I catch myself in the morning. I do. I do little things, where, like, I don't like. I don't like traveling during rush hour. No, yeah. But because everybody's a piece of shit. Everybody. Everybody's for themselves. Everybody's tired. They're they're irritated. So, <laughs> and I know where the doors stop on the train. So my favorite thing to do is just block people out, block, <laughs> box them out to get. And we're racing to the seats every morning. We're racing to the seats. So it's it's so fun when when somebody else is like. Is, is trying to get to the seat, and you just box them out and be like, should have been quick, and then talk shit after. It's so good in the morning. I don't know why. <laughs> that's, don't, that's, yeah, yeah. You see, I but then they look at you like, you fucking that. asshole. Yeah. Like, why are you so yeah. aggressive? You, you ever box someone out and then not sit down? Oh, it's the best. But and they give it to you. <laughs> no, because then, then they're like, I'm sorry, can I sit there? And you're like, oh, by all means. <laughs> and then you look like a just good guy you to still won. Else. Just yeah. so they know you won. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have this. Once in a blue moon. moon. Like, if it's, if, if it's a super aggressive little old lady, like, like not, that's not racist. Little, a little, it's, it's, the, it's the little Spanish ladies that are, that are, that are, that are racist. Because they'll try to box you out. And then expect you to give them the seat, and then you hit them with a nice little shove, and then <laughs> like, look, it's, it's not an easy win over here. All right. right. I, I Sometimes don't, you got to make an example. No. I just, I my own racism tells me that they need the seat more than anyone, because I've always assumed that they're just like standing. Yeah, that, for that, a long time. I, I, I used to be a nice guy when I used to yeah. give up my seat and be like, but no, no some sometimes no. I, until I my mom dies, I'm going to be giving up my seat to anybody who needs it more because she guilted the fuck out of me as a kid for. I used to be that down. way too. Yeah, I used to be that way until when people judge me when they get on the train and then not sit next to me. They're, they're, like they'll they'll look at me and be like, "Oh, I'm not sitting next to him." So I'm like, you know what? Fair game on everybody. You know, everybody's going to get this heat. <laughs> Like, I, like, just, like, I, just, I feel like I just started a bomb. I just, like, everybody's going to get it. It doesn't matter. Young, old, babies, nobody gets a seat. <laughs> Everybody stands in my town. 
<laughs> I, I just think it's cute. You think that your mom's guilt will go away when she dies. My mom actively threatens to haunt me and continue to oh, guilt me from beyond the grave. Dead ass. She says this on a regular basis. Really? Yes. Like I'm gonna haunt you? Yeah. <laughs> you see, but my, my mom's too busy living in the past. Like I, I don't think uh, she's capable of, of foresight. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but haunting someone is the ultimate living in the past. It's like, like you're, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna like anything you see if you haunt me. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna like it is. So you haunt me for what? You're gonna be so disgusted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, 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 just <laughs> oh, morning head for days. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, uh, a ghost gave someone morning head in Ghostbusters. No one ever talks about this scene, but there's Ghostbusters? a part in the movie Ghostbusters. Dan Aykroyd is sleeping, and a ghost undoes his pants and starts blowing him. Wow. Yeah, it's in the movie. <laughs> I, I haven't seen Dan Ghostbusters Edward? since Dan Edward, Edward, who believes in ghosts, so his fantasy's probably been to be blown by a ghost. Yeah. If, if, ghost. If you think, like, he, he asked the producer, or the writer, hey, any way we could fit this into the script? <laughs> I got to Can, can, I, can I, I be this guy? That he came out all frazzled, but they didn't. This is where he's like, oh, oh. Could, they're like, probably, yeah, that poses a lot of, like, technical problems of how we get, like, it's going to add to the budget. He'll be like, I'll, I'll pay for it. Just yeah. blown by a we ghost. Have, we have to go see the scene again. Yeah. <laughs> the Dan Aykroyd rape scene? The yeah, ghost rape? He gets rape by a ghost. Rape super by fucked a ghost. up. That's, <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. Ghosts don't know the bounds of consent, I guess. Yeah, you gotta hey, so rapists got to die. They, they, you know? And, yes. they, they, and somebody's going to get ghost raped. It's just <laughs> facts of life. Uh, somebody's got to get ghost raped. Somebody's got to get robot raped. I mean, I feel like more robots will be raped. Slash. I think it's going to be both. I think rapists are going to use robots to rape people. It's going to be like this weird fetish. Maybe. Um, and, and then you can't get in trouble for it unless you can track the robot back to you. I don't know where this podcast is. Uh, yeah, I feel like yeah, anytime, yeah, yeah, anytime yeah. we're talking about rope, what rope? Huh? You're just planning out loud. You're trying to just be like, oh, I said I could rape him. No, I'm not going to. I, 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 would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would I would get a team of robots to rob banks, but I wouldn't sexually assault you. That's not. Nah. I feel like a robot's going to trick you into committing crimes. I think that's what's I think we're already there. Yeah. I mean, there's no. With the with Google Duplex and how they could just yeah, somebody could just call you up like hey we're gonna blackmail your family and then just have you go do dumb shit just I don't run, know. run yeah. missions that yeah. that's a movie yeah that's a GTA huh yeah just call you up and be like hey if you don't go rob this bank in thirty seconds we'll just kill your family <laughs> yeah. robot could do it yeah. Yeah. go to if, if you live next to a bank you can just go downstairs yeah. and rob a bank I don't fucking know Graham there was someone in my old neighborhood who robbed the bank that he lived above. Genius. That's ballsy. With a banana. Well, he's an asshole. He he could have been smarter. Like he lived upstairs. He lived upstairs. Directly above the bank. Yes. See, that's. And like, kind of like you know, like he was. He's on drugs, right? Oh, hey, Mark. What's up? Yeah. (laughs) What are you doing here? (laughs) No, no. I I wanted to be an old cowboy bank robber. I would have did that. Yeah, when it was cool, yeah. you know. Played Red Dead. Red? No, I haven't played it yet. Let's start playing. It. Is it's it good? good. Yeah. I didn't get into the, the original ones, but it's pretty fun. I'm sure. I'm yeah, trying to watch. You guys watch anime? Sometimes. Anybody? No. You you're an anime guy? Yeah. Big into it or just in? Uh, in. What, 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 what's hot right now? What do you recommend? I'm, I'm yeah. Still working through it. Wow. You you're not serious. Yeah. You're not serious. I'm trying to trying to get a uh, attention of of a girl who likes anime. Apparently, Evangelion's really big. I have a lot of friends that are really into this show. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Huh. Evangelion. Shut the fuck up, Patrick. What the fuck? What the fuck? You matching beard? But this looks like your future, right? You look like <laughs> father and son. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick Booger. We're almost done. Um, um, um what'd you say? Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, oh, oh the anime. Yeah, if you. A lot of my friends are into these Neon Genesis Evangelion series. It's like big in the meme world. Yeah. Fuck. Got you wow. into that. Into the, I, mean, I don't know what the fuck. These, these you are two worlds I know nothing about. Yeah. Anime and meme world, apparently. Oh, what, yeah. What's meme world? It's the memes. The, the memes. Zeitgeist of memes. Just making memes internet. like on Giphy? It's memes. It's memes. All right. What a life. Yeah. That's a world. Yeah. I, I was going to start making memes. Then I, I can get... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. 
could get into it. Comics should be making more memes, right? Yeah. No? You don't think so? Why? Well, sorry, because no, <laughs> it, it, it waters down our content, I think. I, I, th I think it waters down, like, like our, um, you know, what, what, whatever shit we bring to the stage. Like, it, it, it's I mean, just like a pimple on that ass. Okay. I mean, it's kind of lazier. Almost. Yeah. It's, well, it's, like, it, it's like, it's not, I'm not saying it's easy, but I think being, like, writing a good joke or, like, writing a good bit is, but it's just a yeah. vehicle to get your jokes out there. Just another vehicle. Right, yeah, but, but part of so it should be used by mostly comics than regular people. Is it? I think. Well, it so, depends. Because yeah. it's like a short term. Maybe make today is only probably going to be relevant for this week. Versus mm -hmm. the stand up joke you're writing, you might be working on it for months. You want it to still be good for next year. Right. So I think, and also mm -hmm. part of it is the anonymity of memes. Most memes don't have like your your handle on them. And even if it does, someone's going to crop it out and no one's going to be like, it's, I, I don't think it's super often someone's like, this is a great meme. Who made it? They find your profile from it. Yeah. There are people that, you know, you see people like take a photo of them doing stand up and then like type up their bit, like the stand up shots. Yeah. That's a big thing. That's something that you can do. I mean, some people have like gotten pretty good recognition and probably get a lot of Twitter followers from doing that. But in terms of memes, I feel like the people that are the best at making memes are not the same people that are the best at writing jokes for live comedy. I you know feel like, I, mean? oh, I, feel, completely. I feel like you're, you're like the guy who reads the the uh, the uh, the laws after an auto commercial. <laughs> you, ever, you ever hear that? And he said, "Read yeah. you all that shit, and nobody knows what it is." The bylaws and the, and the, the yeah. fine, you're the fine print guy. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. I, 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 I feel like, like you know, a lot of money that way. <laughs> you, know, you know that show Adam ruins everything. Yes, I I, I think like <clears throat> you could potentially replace Adam if they decide to slash the budget. He's a drink. Yeah, could be a budget ass. Yeah. Adam Conover. Really, word. Really, really ruined, he ruins everything. Like literally <laughs> ruins yeah. everything. Yeah. Everything. It's my job, man. Fucking chlamydia. You can't even give a girl chlamydia anymore without <laughs> I'm helping you. Ah, you don't want chlamydia. Hi, Peter Wong. You should have chlamydia at least three times in your life. Everyone or just Peter? Everyone. Oh, Peter should <laughs> literally have it just. You should give it out of the banks. Yeah, I should give Clemmy. Yeah. Everybody has to. Oh, that's. No. Yeah. That's like a prize. Or chlamydia. Or yeah. cl <laughs> Actually, that's, a good, that's just a good way to get $5 yeah, out of anybody. Chlamydia. <laughs> if you bring your chlamydia, extra minutes. Um, uh, uh, we got to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, where yeah. can they find you? Uh, they can find me on Instagram. Oh, I, I oh, oh no, he goes no, for no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 no, no, do it. Yeah. Do it do Instagram, it. John Hanford, J-O-N-H-A-N-F-O-R-D. Yeah. Going to the desert. Instagram. Yep. Twitter? <laughs> Same thing on Twitter. Uh, website? Not yet. No website. <laughs> All right. Poor baby. Come on. <laughs> WillieZabar.com, WillieZabar on Instagram, Jaime Wilhelm on Facebook. That's it? That's it. What else could I have? Twitch, I'm on Twitch now. Are you on Twitch now? I'm Will on Twitch. Twitch, Twitch was almost gonna pop. Is it still yeah. popping? Is it it's popping for video games. Not. It doesn't seem they don't make it easy for you to do like Facebook Live with just a camera. You have yeah, to download like software. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's one camera where you can we can record and it goes to everything. That's what I'm gonna get next. But oh, nice. just, oh, it's like it has phone soft. Like it can. It, yeah, once you record, you'll be recording on all the platforms. That's cool. Oh, um, interesting. That sounds yeah, cool. Instead of just being on. Because if you record on Twitch and share it on Facebook, Facebook will bury it because they they only yeah. want to support Facebook Live. Yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The same with uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh, that makes sense. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, and oh. Pinterest? No. Nobody's on My Pinterest? My dad is interested in Pinterest, but... He's interested? Yeah, he's not on Graham, it. Graham, wash your mouth, all right? <laughs> Uh, 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 well, give it up for them one more time. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Another episode of Peoples Mike. Uh, you can find it on Spotify, iHeartRadio, JimPeoples.com, J Peoples TV on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, go to Alexa. You can hear uh, Willie and uh, and John. Um, John is the name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on uh, shut up, shut up, Graham. Uh, uh, episode 235? Sure. 235. Why not? 235. Here we are, uh, yeah. And, and, yeah, give it up for them one more time. Yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>